Now let us study some important points for good quality grape production. Farmers producing grape raisin are not bothered much about the shape and size of berries or bunge. But these are important for growers selling fresh fruits, especially colored grapes. Variety, size of the bunch, the number of berries in a bunch, size and uniformity of berries, color, absence of scars on the berries, etc. are the important features of quality of grapes. Amount of sweetness and soreness, absence of chemical residues, etc. decide the taste of grapes. Firmness of pulp, extent of ripening and post-harvest handling, etc. decide the shelf life of the fruit. Bunch with 300 to 700 grams weight is the optimum size. Apply 75 to 80 kilograms of nitrogen per acre for better vine development at 35 day stage after summer pruning. This increases bun size. Keep one fruiting cane per 2 square feet area. Stop the growth of the shoot at 15 to 18 leaves. To achieve this, pinch the shoot tip or spray CCC at 75 day stage after back pruning. Application of 100 to 150 kilograms of SOP per acre at 60 to 90 day stage will increase cane thickness and hence the bunch size. Avoid the incidence of powdery mildew disease. Prune the shoots with thickness below 6 mm diameter. Do not retain more than 15 leaves on fruiting cane. Pinch the shoot tip at pea size berry stage. Do not retain bunch on the cane with less than 8 leaves. These efforts yield bunches with good size. Size of the berry is also an important feature of quality. This depends on variety, presence or absence of seed, amount of GA3 hormone used and leaf area nourishing the bunch, etc. More number of berries in a bunch leads to small size of berries. These berries may crack or decay at ripening. Hence, take up thinning. Extent of thinning is based on experience. As a thumb rule, retain 8 berries for a leaf with 6 cm width. Finish thinning work before the berries grow onto pea size. Treat the berries with 25 ppm GA3 with 10 ppm BA or 1 ppm homobrassinolide or 2 ppm MCP once at sorghum size of berries and once again at pea size of berries. Do not restrict irrigation from 60 days to 105 days after October pruning. Apply sufficient amount of nitrogenous fertilizer to reach the required leaf area. These efforts will improve the size of the berries. Uniformity of berries in shape and size is also important. 25% portion of the bunch at lower end may be cut off for this purpose. Take care while treating with GA3 so that all berries get the treatment uniformly. Uniformity of color of the berries is also an important factor. Inadequate nutrition, too early pruning, very high or less than 8 degrees centigrade night temperature at the time of ripening will lead to uneven berry color. Let the alignment of the rows be in the north-south direction in wide trellis system. Ensure at least 10 leaves per growing bunch irrespective of leaf size or area. To avoid pale red color berries, spray 0.2% ascorbic acid, 0.25% sodium dithiocarbonate mixture at 15 days interval from 100 day stage after October pruning. Avoid winter pruning in last week of September and first week of October. Scars on the berries affect the look and hence the marketability of the bunch. Avoid the chance of anthracnose disease between 45 to 60 days after October pruning. 
thrips insect should not attack between 30 and 50 days stage. Avoid powdery mildew disease between 45 and 105 days. Do not spray any chemical, especially sulfur, bordex and kerithane from fruit setting to pea size berry stage. These chemicals leave scorching scars on tender berries. Keep on stirring the spray solution in the tank. Otherwise, the concentration of the chemical becomes high at the bottom of the tank, resulting in scorching effect. Southwest sun in the afternoon will have scorching effect on growing bunch. Leaves should give protection to the bunch against direct sun. Protect the rows along the road with shade net. Sugar content or TSS of the berry is one more important quality component. Sufficient sunlight and ventilation to all leaves will improve sugar content in the fruit. Avoid bunch on weak canes. Regulate the crop by thinning excess bunch and berries. Soreness depends on variety, extent of ripening and temperature. Soreness comes down as and when sweetness improves. Grape tastes good even with high soreness if the sweetness is high. Even though the sugar content is the varietal characteristics, it varies with crop load on the vines, ratio of leaf area and number of bunches and availability of potash etc. Grape harvested in summer will be sweeter and less sour. Stop irrigation before harvesting. Harvested berries should not have chemical residues. Apply all possible organic methods in the vineyard. Do not violate the safety period of any pesticides. Avoid sprays at the time of harvest. Only mealy bug is found at ripening stage. Use chemicals with 5 days safety period for its control. Stop indiscriminate usage of fertilizers and pesticides, especially nitrogen should not be applied at ripening stage. Berries should not detach from the bunch after harvest. Treating the bunch at growing stages with 10 ppm BA or 1 ppm homobrassinolide will strengthen the stalks of the berries. Treating with 50 ppm NAA before 10 days of harvest will minimize shedding of berries from the bunch. Grape wine should not face water shortage and do not spray ethyl at harvesting stage. <music>